basically takes your typical open data page that you may be used to with just a bunch of links to be able to download data and gives it a more user-friendly <coughs> interface. So just to do a little test, let's uh, search for Montreal. And you can see a number of different data sets are available. We have some keywords here. Maybe we want to look for some coffee shops because gosh, I need some coffee right now. So we can take a look at that. And we can do a visualization of all of the coffee shops in the city of Montreal and surrounding areas. Now, of course, I'm going to click on one of these and let's see what my luck is like. Oh, look, it's a Tim Hortons. Who would have guessed? I didn't know they had Tim Hortons in Montreal. Now, let's see if I can click another one. See what my luck is like. Oh, look, it's a Tim Hortons. It's a federalist Tim Hortons this morning, too. All right, so we see a thousand Tim Hortons here. No problem. We can go ahead and we can visualize it by table. So just to show there aren't just Starbucks, so there's other coffee shops here as well. So that's good. We can also download this, and we can download a number of different formats. We can download it as a CSV or KML or shapefile, or we can use it as a feature service or JSON. We can also subscribe to an RSS feed, so if changes are made to the data set, you'll be notified. So this is very similar to all your different uh, types of open data web pages. It just gives it that nice user interface. It gives you a map, allows you to be able to download it in different formats, be able to visualize the data before you download it. That's where this open uh, data template's going to really be useful for you. So that just gives you a quick, uh, brief look at this. Once again, this is something that's coming out very soon. So, so we hit the download button.